In this video we're going to learn how to do simple animation and we're going to learn about the Pi game clock which is important to any game really that involves movements. Okay so let's make our simple animation and so one of the first things we want to do is get rid of all this work here to do with key down. We're not going to have any control over um, our animation at the moment. We're going to change um, that. And so I've got my different colors. Now to do an animation we need a clock. Now the reason we need a clock is the computer can run very fast and if we um, don't slow it down then everything will move too quickly. And the other bit is we want to m let it move at a known speed. So I've set up this variable that I've called FPS to stand for frames per second. And that means when it um, gets to the, the clock, which we'll put in later, the clock will only let itself be ticked once every, um, well, a thirtieth of a second so that that one actually works. So now I've done that, I'm actually going to create my clock. So I'm Again, I can call this bit whatever I want. I'm going to call it FPS um, clock. I'm going to let that equal a um, a pi game time clock. Okay, so um, we set up our clock. Now we need a position of our ball. We're going to make move. It's actually going to be a circle, so we see how to do a circle as well. And then I'm going to give it um, a a horizontal velocity which I'm just going to set at um, 5 to start off with. Of course, if I make that number bigger it moves quicker, if I make it smaller it moves slower and I'm going to have a Y um, velocity as well which I'm going to make 5. This bit here is going to stay um, pretty much exactly the same. So the next thing I want to do my Y, and I'm actually going to draw not a rectangle but I'm going to draw a, a ball this time just so we can see that so pi game draw and then you might think it'd be ball but <coughs> it's actually um, circle and then I want it to be on display I want it to be um, red now with a circle what we actually put down is we put down its um, it's the, the coordinates of the center and we do that as a single variable there and then that means I've got one of those too many. Then we put down the radius of our circle and then we have um, a term here that tells us the line thickness. So if I make it um, zero, it fills it in completely. So I've now got my circle. Then we've got our event going on here that checks to see if we're going to quit or not. So what I want to do, each time through the whole loop, I want to change the position according to the variable. So I'm going to say, X pos um, to the X position, I want to add to that whatever the X um, velocity is. And then I want to do the same thing for the Y um, pos, so the Y position, and I want to add to that whatever the Y um, velocity is. In fact, I'm just going to make this the other way around just so it starts by going up in an upwards direction. Okay, now um, what I could do there, and I'll actually do it so it doesn't actually quite work correctly. I want to update the screen, and then I want to um, go for our FPS clock, and I just want it to tick, and the speed I want it to tick at is going to be corresponding to whatever we set our frames per second. Now I'm going to run this, it's not going to work quite right, so let's run, and bang, oh, where's it gone? And of course, not a very good one. I've not detected to see whether it hits the edge of the screen. But you did actually see an animation happen, but let's change that. So I want to say, if the X position is greater than 490. Now the reason we've gone for 490 rather than 500 is I've got the radius of my ball, which is going um, to be um, 10 here. So I want to take of that. So if the X position is greater than 490 or the X pos is less than 10, then what I want to do is I want to change the direction. So the easy way to do that is make the X velocity and I want to make it, I want to multiply it by negative one. And then I want to do exactly the same thing for the Y. So if Y 
um, pos is going to be greater than 290 or y pos whoops wrong one there y oh gosh i'm making a right mess of this let me go back to that if y pos is less than 10 i want to do the same thing again and i want to change the y velocity by multiplying that by um, negative one as well so now when we run this one it's going to do hopefully what we want goes off bounces off the side and goes all the way around so in our next video we'll actually look at maybe how we can influence this with maybe like something like a bat I hope that you found this video helpful there's a link to the code in the description below stay in infield with Winfield